Hello, hello everyone. How you guys doing today? What's up? I'm Red and welcome back to a new episode of the Iron Man Profile. Today, as you can see, we are back in the Crystal Hollows and we are going to be doing 100 Nucleus runs. Yep, you heard that right. We are doing 100 Nucleus runs today. We're going to try our luck for the Quick Claw and me and Chloe have been preparing for the last couple of weeks. We got 100 parts, 100 keys, and a hundred sets of tools are ready to go and uh, we're gonna start doing some runs today and uh, see what we can get i must say though doing this with a mole pet was so much faster and easier as uh gathering sets when i did 100 runs back in the day with kev it took us probably around like five hours if not more to get all of the sets and this took maybe two hours to get if even that so it was really good also, another really good part about Mole is that if you have it at level 100 um, at the Professor, so uh, the Sapphire Crystal, it asks for one less part, which means that you basically get to pick which one you don't want to do. And since I got my perfectly cut fuel tank recently, I've decided to not go for synthetic hearts. So I got all the other parts instead. And we're going to be using the Mole perk for the synthetic heart. Uh, we've also already set up the lobby, so uh, yeah, I think it's time we start doing some runs and I will let you know what we get. Also, I won't be showing you every single run. I'm going to do only the runs that are like interesting or if we drop something. And also, I'll probably update every like 10 runs like I normally do because I don't want to bore you with, uh, I don't know, just getting gemstones or something. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Also, another good thing about Mole is that just like the high roller perk, it gives us an extra bundle when completing Crystal Nucleus runs. So we're basically just getting more drops, which is really good. And also there is a new item in the loot pool for um, the Crystal Nucleus, which is the die. So there's a Jade die that we can get and it's super rare actually. But you never know, it could happen. Let's place it, <laughs> shall we? There we go. I'm going to place Topaz last, I think. There we go. And Topaz. Oh, wait, it shows you in chat what we get. What? That's so weird. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? I don't like that. I got a Devon frag. We'll take that. All right, here we go. Second run. Boom. What do we get? What do we get? Um... Oh, I got mole. I got mole fossil and fortune four. Oh my god. There we go. A run at number 10. Let's go ahead and place it. And then we'll do the little check in for every 10 runs. Uh, let's see uh, what we got. We got a another claw fossil and a helix. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, and a precious pearl as well. And a jade rolled. What? That one was kind of loaded. Okay. So... 10 runs check in we have three prehistoric eggs we have two helixes one fortune four two claws one the von frag three picanimuses one jade rolled and one precious pearl run number 15 and we get blessed with a jade rolled okay 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 oh and i got a mixture as well okay this is really weird chloe and i got the exact same stuff she got a Jade Rolled, I got a Jade Rolled. She got a mixture, I got a mixture from the same run. What? <laughs> Are we duping? There we go, run number 16 placed. What do we get? Another Jade Rolled? What? That's crazy, that's back-to-back -back Jade Rolds. There we go, run number 18. Uh, what do I see? The Von Frags? Yeah, not too bad. And a Jade Rolled again? What? There we go, placing a run number 20 already. Oh my god, these runs are going by so quickly, it's kind of crazy. And we get another Jade Rolled? What? The Queen of Jade Rolls returns, by the way. In the past 10 runs, I got four of them. Four Jade Rolds. A mixture, some Piconimbuses, two frags. Wow, that was crazy, actually. There we go, run number 23. And what do we get? Jade rolled again? Oh my god, and a prehistoric egg. <laughs> GG. There we go, run number 25. So we're now a quarter of the way done with our 100 runs. Let's have a look what we get. Uh, ooh, two Picanimbuses, Fortune 4. Oh, a bit of lag, prehistoric egg. Honestly, not terrible. We'll take it. 
There we go, run number 27, and we get another Devon Frag, another Jade Road. Placing a run number 30 right now. Let's have a look what we get. Uh, another Claw and a Pearl. Okay, 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 I see you. Not too bad. Let's have a look. Last 10 runs. What did we get? A bunch of Piccanimbuses. Three prehistoric eggs, a Pearl, a Fortune 4. Claw fossil for the von frags and two jade rolls. GG, actually not bad. These runs have been pretty good so far. Placing a run at number 35, and we get ourselves. Oh god, there's a bunch of stuff. To the von frags, pick a nimbus, helix. Wow, okay, that was that was a lot of stuff. A run at number 38. Oh, recall pot. No. <laughs> That's so sad. A run at number 39 placed, and we got ourselves. Ooh, again, to the Von Frags. We'll take that. It's actually pretty good. I know I don't need them, but like, it's still better than just getting gemstones or getting like gold barrels. So, def definitely a W. There we go. A run at number 40. Let's see. What do we have? Another Devon Frag. GG. Oh, wait. I forgot to do a check in. Um, past 10 runs. What do we have? Bunch of Picodimbuses, some prehistoric eggs, six frags, one Jade Rolled, one Recall Pot, and then one Helix as well. GG. Run number 43. We're almost halfway done already. Uh, we get Fortune 4 again. All right, there we go. Run number 50 of 100. Let's have a look. We're halfway done now. Uh, oh, I see a gemstone mixture. That's pretty good. Picodimbus. All right, quick little check in of the past couple of runs. We got a bunch of Piccanimbuses, one Prehistoric Egg, one Helix, one Jade Rolled, two the Von Frags, and a Gemstone Mixture. There we go. GG, we'll take that. Run number 51. And the Von Frag, Helix, Jade Rolled as well. Nice. Run number 54. And I see a Jade World in the oil barrels. Placing run number 59. And oh my. Jade World, Picanimbuses, oil barrels. Run number 60 time. Oh my. Oh, bit of lag. Very nice. <laughs> Let's see. What do we get? Um, Absolutely nothing, I don't think. Just oil barrels and gemstones. Past 10 runs, however, we got 3 Helixes, 1 Devon Frag, 2 Prehistoric Eggs, 4 Picanimbuses, 3 Jaderolds, and 1 Devon Frag. Alright, run number 65. I said Chloe is dropping Alloy this run, so let's see. <laughs> was I right or was I wrong? And I think I was wrong. Uh oh. I'm so sorry. I got a Devon Frag though, so we will take it. A run number 67, I believe. And we get ourselves. Ooh, is that four prehistoric eggs? What? That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that many in one run. GG. Run number 70 being placed. I am slowly losing hope of actually dropping this quick claw. Um, <laughs> it's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, nothing there. Picking Nimbus's helixes. Past couple of runs were pretty bad, but I can't really complain because the other ones were so much better. There we go, run number 79. We will ignore that it's been a couple of days since our last runs, but here we go. Let's see, what do we get? Um, oh god. A bunch of prehistoric eggs <laughs> is what it looks like. And a Picanimbus, GG. There we go, run number 80. We have 20 left to go after this, and we get ourselves. Uh, just prehistoric egg, I think, I believe. Also, from the past 10 runs, we got ourselves a whole bunch of nothing, actually. Three Devon Frags, some Picanimbuses, Helixes, prehistoric eggs. Run number 81, and we get ourselves. Ooh, a Fortune 4. Devon Frags, Jade World as well. Oh my god, this was a loaded run. What? Run number 82. Uh, ooh, the Von Fra Fortune 4 again? What? That's back to back. Oh my god, what? That's actually insane. 
There we go. Just placed all the crystals for run number 83. And no, another fortune four back to back to back. Bro, what? That is actually crazy. What? What is happening right now? All right. Well, there was a game update and our lobby restarted. We love that. So we have a new lobby now and this is run number 86. Let's see what we get. Um, the Von Fra Fortune 4 again? What? What is happening? This is actually unreal. What? There we go. Another run done. Run number 87. Ooh. No, is it 87? 88? I don't know. Got a flawless jade. That's pretty good. We'll take that. There we go. Run number 90. Let's have a look what we get. Uh, I, I don't see my loot. I, I don't know what I got. <laughs> what is going on? Um, This server has really bad TPS. So yeah, GG to that. I don't think we got anything from that. <laughs> um... In the past 10 runs, however, we got one Jade World, four Devon Frags, some Prehistoric Eggs, Flawless Jade, four Fortune Fours, a bunch of Picanimbuses, two Helixes. There we go, run number 96. And we get ourselves, ooh, a Jade World. We'll take that. Oh god, my inventory is full. Uh oh, not good. But yeah, I think just a Jade World. Run number 97. And. Oh, I see another Jade World. All right, run at number 99. One more after this, and <laughs> it's not looking good, I'm gonna be honest. Um, what do we get? Helix? Picanimbus? Yeah, nothing. All right, here we go. Very last run, run number 100. Yep, there we go. And Sapphire, and... Uh, <laughs> bombs? <laughs> and gemstones gg all right so past 10 runs five picanimbuses four helixes two jade worlds four devon frags and one prehistoric egg oh my these runs were kind of bad i'm not gonna lie so many fortune four books and so many jade worlds so it's kind of crazy all right here is what we ended up with by the way so <laughs> we've got over half a chest of armadillo eggs we have a full chest of Picanimbuses as well as like another row here. We got three rows of Helix fossils and three Claw fossils. And then, oh my god, look at all these Jade Worlds. That's insane. And so many Fortune 4 books as well. Two Precious Pearls, two Gemstone Mixtures, one Recall Potion, 36 Devon Frags, and one Flawless Jade. I mean, if you think about it, I think runs were very successful, like 36 Devon Frags, so many Jade Rolls and Fortune 4 books, like, I think that's pretty good. Um, sad that I couldn't get a Claw. I am now, if we have a look in Profile Viewer, by the way, I am on over 600 runs, 610 right there, so. But that number isn't gonna stop me. We need a quick Claw for our Bal, Skatha, maybe the Glacial Golem as well, if I ever actually craft it, because I'm kind of slacking. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I will get that claw. Trust me. I will work my ass off until I get it. <laughs> we might actually be able to get the quick claw sooner than I thought though, because literally a day after I did the nucleus runs with Chloe, there was an update released on Alpha, which added an RNG meter to nucleus runs. So now for quick claw, you need 450 runs, which is very doable. Like I've done over 600 runs and it wasn't too bad, so yeah, 450 runs is almost like nothing, and it will be worth it for the quick claw for sure. And even for the alloy, it's only like a thousand runs. Like, I know, like, to an average person, a thousand might seem like a lot, but if you think about it right now without RNG meter, you literally could have gone like 5,000 runs without dropping one. So, you know, a thousand runs isn't too bad. But anyway, I think that's gonna do it for today. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing, maybe liking. Don't forget to join Discord down below. And I hope you'll have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it is. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!